For progress getting the Port of Baltimore back to business just two hours ago, Maryland Governor Wes Moore announced crews are on track to open a third and deeper channel near the key bridge by the end of this month. That should make way for larger ships like marine tugs and some cargo ships too. Toya Gonzalez joins us now with the very latest on this. Hi, Dee. Hey, Lorenzo. The governor also says they're on track to reopen port access by the end of May. So this is great news and certainly very good news for the 8000 port workers in Baltimore. Now this new channel will be 35 feet deep, which is an accomplishment considering what lies on the floor of the Patapsco River. Check this out. This is one of the sonar images of the US, the US Navy rather released today. It shows the wreckage of the key bridge in the deepest part of the federal shipping channel. So most of the progress is happening above the waterline. Crews with the Army Corps of Engineers are cutting pieces of the steel span and are making progress toward eventually moving the ship. The governor says opening two temporary channels a week ago was a critical step forward. As of this morning, there had been 58 commercial movements throughout those two channels. But let's be clear, even with those 58 movements, we're still only talking about 15% of what vessel traffic looked like before the collapse. Sadly, six people lost their lives when the bridge collapsed two weeks ago after the ship Dolly lost steering power and slammed into the pier. Three bodies are believed to still be in the wreckage. The investigation into the collapse took center stage on Capitol Hill today. National Transportation Safety Board Chair Jennifer Homendy appeared before a Senate committee for her reconfirmation hearing. Our investigative team is on the vessel as we speak. Uh, we downloaded the VDR, the voyage data recorder on scene, and then we removed the VDR uh, in order to download uh, the past 30 days in our lab. And we can also tell you the NTSB investigators are looking into the ship's electrical system and circuit breakers. So far, investigators have interviewed 15 people, including the ship's pilot. Their preliminary report, we're told, is expected first week of May. So yes, yeah, so they're making significant progress, but there's still a long way to go. Delia, thank you. Meantime, the caucus of African-American leaders of Anne Arundel County urging state lawmakers to rename Baltimore's Key Bridge. Francis Scott Key was a former slave owner. He owned slaves. According to an article in the Smithsonian Magazine, he once wrote that blacks are, quote, an inferior race of people. The caucus wants the bridge renamed after the late Perry Mitchell. He was the first black person to represent Maryland in the House of Representatives. The caucus plans to present the resolution to Maryland lawmakers in the coming days.